Hi guys and welcome to the Theory Lab and in this section we're going to be looking at diminished harmony. Okay, so in some of the previous uh, courses that we've worked with, we've started to look at seventh chords now. So this concept of taking your basic triads, adding some form of seventh, and you get a range of new chords, major seventh, minor seventh, and dominant seventh. Now, today what we're going to be looking at is how this applies to diminished chords, okay? So it's pretty much a whole new world diminished stuff. Um, and again, the usage of diminished chords, especially when we're talking about diminished seventh type chords, um, we'll go through it all in a minute. Um, you, you're very much looking at jazz, you're looking at metal, um, and a variety of more extreme genres, I think is the best way to put it. You're, you're unlikely to come across a diminished seventh chord in a... Bruno Mars song, for example, or an Ed Sheeran song, you know, pop stuff. You're very unlikely to hear it because it's just that little bit harder to kind of get on board with um, than, say, for example, if you're listening to some jazz or some metal, which is notoriously a little bit dissonant and, and tricky, these chords are very commonplace, okay? However, there is crossover and you can use diminished chords in blues and in rock and in various different places. So it it is worth doing, definitely, and it will also hopefully put a few kind of questions to bed, okay? Because there's a lot of um, variety of ways to call these diminished chords that we're gonna kind of go through, okay? So what we're gonna be dealing with in the diminished section is minor seven flat five chords and diminished seventh chords, okay? And these are also commonly known as half diminished and whole diminished, but they're exactly the same thing, okay? So we'll go through those ones. and also, we're going to talk about, at the end of this section, how to then put this all in a key, okay? So the really cool thing here is that now we've got, you know, the major seventh, the minor seventh, the dominant seventh, and we'll have the diminished kind of seventh chords. We can actually put together a whole harmonized key of seventh chords, okay? So we're going to talk about that as well. So there's plenty to go through, okay? And the first thing I want you guys to have on the board ready is a major scale, okay? Because again, to, in order to get these diminished chords understood, we need a major scale on the board ready to go, okay? So for this example, we're gonna come and do one we haven't done before, I don't think, which is the E major scale, okay? So just trying to roughly, over the course of all of these segments, go through a variety of different keys, okay? So really keep challenging you. So again, I'm gonna kind of work this through. And remember, with the major scale, we just simply use the numbers at the top, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to one. And then we use our formula tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. <laughs> okay, so with E, there's our E, okay, and we're gonna be going a tone up from E, okay? Now you guys should be able to do this just as quickly as I am, or if not quicker, um, which is F sharp, okay? Then we're gonna go a tone up from F sharp, okay, so that's tone, tone. Tone up from F sharp is of course G sharp. Okay. Then we're gonna go a semitone. So try and work it out as I'm going. Semitone from G sharp is A. Okay. Now we're gonna go another tone up from there, um, which will be B. Okay. So then another tone up from there as we continuously change colors. <laughs> uh, tone up from B is gonna be C sharp. Because remember, there's no B sharp. It doesn't exist. So we go straight C and then C sharp. Then we're going to go one more tone up, which is going to be D sharp. And then finally, that will bring us back to the E, which is a semitone up from there. Okay. So again, again, and I hate to keep drilling this in, guys, but this is the base of everything. This is just, if you can't do that bit, there's no chance of doing the rest of it, okay? So that's why I just keep going over and over that little section there, okay? So with the E major scale written out, let's just have a quick remember, reminder, the E major scale has got four sharps, okay? So hopefully that will help you remember it, okay? We've got C with no sharps, we've got G with one sharp, D with two sharps, A with three sharps, and E with four sharps, okay? So hopefully you're starting to just remember some of this stuff. Now, with that ready to go, in the next video, we're gonna start looking at these diminished chords.